Welcome to the <laughs> about the 50th take of the Monday morning afternoon walk around. Welcome to a brilliant performance. Welcome to everybody across the world. If you have a quick look outside, the weather's looking nice. Spring is about to spring, hopefully. There's a blue sky out there. The van's looking clean, everything's looking good. You never know, we might actually get a summer, or, or, or as we know them in the UK, two days of sun and, and warmth. But still, never mind, we'll take it. If you're in a different country where it's sunny, send us some pictures. We need to be made to feel warm and fuzzy, if you would, thank you very, very much. So, the Monday morning walk around. We're going to give you a bit of a walk around and show you what's going on in the workshop. You can see Lou's trying to look intelligent. Well, he actually is looking pretty good. If you can see, he's looking actually pretty good while he's, he's, uh, he's, he's installing some maps into a race bike, into a race triumph. Right then, let's have a look. So what we got, if you have a quick look around here, we've got Marcus's bike that's finished. There's Lou's super, uh, Al's supermoto that he's um, practicing his burnouts on. The non-crispy VFR 800 that's not crispy anymore. We just can't call it the crispy VFR 800 anymore. It's just not there. We've got Dan's uh, V4 that should be in. That's in now for, uh, that was a running problem that we fixed and found that not a problem. That needs, needs, um, that needs a cam chain tensioner now. And we've got the Tuono Racing, that's the AP Tuono Racing now as it goes. We've had a quick look on the frame number round on the headstock. We can guarantee and we can work out that that is number 130. When it comes to a Tuono Racing, if you want to identify a Tuono Racing, have a look at the last six digits of the frame number. The last six digits will read 000 and a number between 1 and 300 because they only ever made 300 of them. This one is number 130, so it will be last six digits 000 and a number between 1 and 300. Okay, cool, right. Like I said, Lou's remapping for the NCAN. We've got the facility to be able to do that. Uh, that's Yag's race bike, so we can sort that one out, not a problem. Al's R6, the 1100, the nitrous kit's going on that later. So we've got that, so I think once we've finished the big ball kit that's on the bench over there, that's going in for nitrous. Joshy P's 03R, our nitrous bike, and I think you've seen all of these before. We've actually got stator into Chessmore for one of these. We've actually had some stators built for the charging problems on Genesis. We've had some charging issues as I think it's pretty well broadcasted across the world so we know what's going on but we've actually got some generators in we've got three generators in now that we're going to test and make sure they're okay make sure they work so that'll be on the bench a little bit later on you pop over here and I'll show you this is our man's Ian's big ball kit this is all going back together again um, I know he's watching I know he's not registered or he doesn't post on there but hi Ian basically um, Ian wanted some pictures of what's going on. These bikes come from the desert, literally, so there's, there's, just, there's just sand everywhere, so it was horrendous. So basically, that's a big ball kit, that's all going back together again. If you have a look at Darren's bike, basically what you'll find is that um, Al's checking valve clearances on that, so if you have a quick look in here, you can actually see what goes on. Right then, inlet cam here, okay, it's chain driven here, so you can hear the chain. That's, so that's the chain drive from the inlet cam, and then it's gear driven to the exhaust cam. So what you'll find is there's two, this little split gear here. In order to try and quieten down the actual gears, what they've done is they've put a little idler gear on there, which is split on a spring. So that pretensions the actual cam, exhaust cam, and actually quietens it down one, and actually gives you a bit more accurate cam, uh, cam timing on the exhaust cam. Fascinating bit of stuff on that one. So if you have a quick look, again, down on here. This is where you'd get, I think we have actually got our videos, if you have a look on our YouTube channel, you can see we've got um, basically an explanation of the gearbox on one of these as well, but this is when the cover comes off so we can turn the engine over to, to set the cam timing up properly. You can actually see what's going inside there, so there's your cassette type gearbox in there. Uh, so Darren's come from, I think he's come from Devon, he's, he's just gone and done one, he realised we were filming so we went and did one, but that's cool, not a problem. Um, so today, I just wanted to show you a few things that are going on in a workshop. If there's anything else we can do for you, if there's anything else you wanted to know, just have a quick round, poke round there and just say hello to Yag as well. Say hello, Yag. Hi, well, boys and girls. Hello, <laughs> gentlemen. Boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, now you know how awkward it feels to be on camera. <laughs> nice one. Right, anything else we can do for you, give us a call at the workshop. Send us an email, service at aprilperformance.co.uk. You can go on our YouTube channel and check out any of the technical little videos that we've made for you. The YouTube channel is called Aprilia Performance UK, or you can go on our website, which is aprilliaperformance.co.uk. 
Anything else we can do for you, just give us a call. Take care. Talk to you soon.